A quiet revolution is happening that will change everything about how AI understands reality itself. Large language. Models are brilliant at words, but they're functionally blind to the world we actually live in. Think about it. You can ask ChatGPT to write a novel, explain quantum physics, or debug your code, but ask it to understand how a cup sits on a table, how light reflects off surfaces, or how you'd navigate through a room, and it's lost. Why? Because LLMs were trained on text. They understand language patterns, not spatial reality. That's all about to change. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than firsthand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first educational and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for the future of work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage in our online school, the AI R&D Labs. Learn more at firstmovers.ai slash labs. Enter large world models. While OpenAI and Anthropic race to make language models smarter, a Stanford AI pioneer named Fei-Fei Li is building something completely different. Large World Models, LWMS. Not better at talking, better at seeing. Her company, World Labs, just created the first true spatial intelligence system, an AI that can perceive, generate, and interact with 3D space the way humans do. Listen to how she describes it. Humans have the ability to have spatial intelligence. We can understand the physical 3D world, imagine any kind of 3D worlds, and reason and interact with it until now. A, I couldn't do this. Why this changes everything. Here's where it gets wild. Eric Schmidt, former Google CEO and one of tech's most respected voices, sat down with Fei Fei Li in Saudi Arabia, and even he was blown away by the implications. Three massive breakthroughs are converging. First, we cracked scaling laws for spatial intelligence, just like we did for language. We can now predict exactly how much compute we need to reach human level spatial understanding. Second, these models are learning through what's called test time compute. They can think longer and deeper about spatial problems, improving exponentially with each iteration. Third, they're mastering distillation at the world level. One spatial AI teaching the next generation, each student becoming orders of magnitude, smarter than its teacher. The timeline nobody expected Eric Schmidt and his San Francisco colleagues predict we'll hit artificial superintelligence in three to four years. But here's the nuance most people miss. We're not talking about AI that's just smarter. We're talking about AI that perceives reality differently than humans, and potentially better. Fei Fei pushes back on the hype. Can AI ever be Newton? Can AI ever deduce the laws of motion from raw data? I don't know yet but she's also building the technology that might make it possible. Forget the sci-fi scenarios for a second. Here's what large world models mean in practice. In medicine, surgeons operating in hybrid reality, physical world merged with AI generated spatial understanding, seeing things human eyes can't detect. In robotics, humanoids that actually understand how to move through space manipulate objects with human-level dexterity, interact with our world seamlessly. In design, architects and engineers generating entire 3D environments from descriptions, iterating in real time with AI that understands physics and materials. In entertainment, virtual worlds so realistic and persistent that they become viable alternatives to physical space. But here's where it gets complicated, and this is the part nobody wants to talk about. Eric Schmidt dropped this bomb. These technologies have network effects which concentrate to a small number of winners. You could imagine a small number of countries getting all these benefits. Translation. 
while the technology might be democratizing, the wealth it creates won't automatically be equally distributed. Some countries are already racing ahead. The U.S. with its capital markets and chip manufacturing, China catching up fast, Saudi Arabia, and UAE partnering strategically. Others, especially in Africa and parts of Europe, risk being left behind entirely. So here's what I want you to think about. In a world where AI can see, understand, and manipulate physical reality as well as or better than humans, what becomes our irreplaceable function? Eric Schmidt's answer surprised me. Humans will always be interested in what other humans can do. We'll have our own contests, and the supercomputers will have their own contests too. But Fei Fei Li got to the heart of it. It's so important, as we talk about AGI and ASI, that we keep human dignity and human agency in the center. Our world has to be human-centered. First, understand that this isn't coming, it's here. World Labs already demonstrated the first large world model, the race is on. Second, figure out which side you're on. Are you building with these technologies, partnering with those who are, or waiting to see what happens? Only one of those strategies works. Third, ask yourself, in a world where A, I can see and understand physical reality, what unique value do I bring? What combinations of human judgment and AI capability am I building toward? Large language models taught AI to think in words. Large world models are teaching AI to see like we do and soon better than we do. The companies, countries, and individuals who understand spatial intelligence will own the next decade. Those who don't will be working for those who do. This isn't speculation. This is mathematics meeting reality. World Labs proved it's possible. Now it's a race to scale. The question is, are you going to be a spectator or a participant? I'd love to hear your thoughts on spatial intelligence and large world models in the comments. And if you want to stay ahead of these shifts, subscribe so we can keep exploring these rabbit holes together. The future isn't about AI that talks better. It's about AI that sees better. And that future is already here. Want to be the winner of the AI age and a first mover? Transform your skills with real AI knowledge today in our AI R and D labs. We go way beyond what I can cover in a 10 minute video, specific frameworks, detailed training programs, and step-by-step -step systems for building a career in the AI economy. The AI revolution is creating the biggest job market transformation in history. The question isn't whether this will happen, it's already happening. Will you be positioned to benefit from it? Inside the labs, learn the exact systems my team and I are implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own marketing at First Movers. Start your journey by walking through a customized pathway powered by AI. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for, I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs.